Yeah, today Governor Asa Hutchinson was able to see the impact on the historic flooding that it's having on homes and farmland in the area. And now we're getting an idea of the economic impact. Governor Hutchinson says Arkansans will have to wait and see how quickly the water levels along the Arkansas River will recede. Right now, the National Weather Service forecasts the river to raise over a half foot over the next couple of days. Hutchinson says that over 500 homes have been impacted in Arkansas from the historic flooding. This flooding is impacting the commerce that flows along the Arkansas River. I'm very concerned about the navigation channel, and that's what's going to take uh, probably a couple months to get that channel back where we can have commerce. Hutchinson says that whenever that channel is not operational, the state is losing roughly $23 million a day in gross domestic product from the flow of raw materials and impacts the ability to get the products in and out. And whenever it's not operational, we lose that economic benefit. So that's what I see is going to take some time to recover from. Senator John Bozeman says we can't control Mother Nature, but we can control the response to the flooding. He says the next step is the response from the federal level. The Corps of Engineers, uh, the military component, uh, those kind of things, USDA, Department of Agriculture, uh, FEMA, very, very importantly, they're involved with the cleanup. Now, city officials in Fort Smith say with the river still above the 40-foot mark, they are urging folks and homeowners this weekend that may have water in their homes not to go back just yet. Reporting live in Fort Smith, Taylor Pinnell, 4029 News.